What the world is seeing right now could reshape the future. This is not regular news. It's a major technological shock. Huawei is no longer just dealing with restrictions. It is quietly changing how the global chip industry works. For many years, Western countries controlled advanced chip making, with companies like Intel and TSMC at the top. At the heart of this dominance is EUV lithography, the most advanced method used to create extremely small and powerful chips. These chips run today's smartphones, artificial intelligence, and supercomputers. EUV machines are incredibly complex. They are made by ASML, a company based in the Netherlands, and each machine costs over $350 million. They contain thousands of ultra-precise parts and represent decades of research and engineering. China, however, was locked out of this technology. U.S. sanctions and export controls stopped EUV machines from being sold to China, and many experts believe China would need 10 years or more to catch up. Without EUV, making the most advanced chips seemed nearly impossible. Instead of stopping China, these restrictions pushed it to act faster and more boldly. Reliable industry sources now say Huawei is testing its own EUV system at its Dongguan facility. Trial production is expected by the end of 2025, with large-scale manufacturing planned for 2026. This is not speculation. People inside the industry are confirming it. China is attempting something that once sounded unrealistic. Producing three nanometer chips on its own, a move that could disrupt the entire global semiconductor industry. This effort began after 2019, when U.S. sanctions cut Huawei off from key American technologies. Under pressure, ASML stopped delivering EUV machines to China. Huawei's local manufacturing partner, SMIC, was limited to older DUV technology, which could reach 7 nanometers, but could not go further. Many believe China had reached a wall, and that its progress in advanced chips was effectively over. But Huawei and China chose another path. They invested huge amounts of money into research, gathered their best engineers, and started building their own EUV technology from the ground up. This was more than just a backup plan. It was a clear move toward independence. Universities, private companies, and government-owned firms were brought together in a long-term national effort focused on chip self-sufficiency. Now signs of success are appearing. Huawei is developing a different method to generate EUV light, known as laser-induced discharge plasma or LDP. This method is very different from ASML's approach. ASML uses powerful lasers to hit tiny droplets of tin to produce EUV light. Huawei's LDP system instead uses high-voltage electrical discharges between electrodes to create the same required wavelength. This design is smaller, simpler, and could cost far less than existing EUV machines. If it works at scale, it could seriously disrupt the global chip equipment market. The consequences go far beyond technology. This is about global influence, economic power, and national security. For years, Western countries controlled advanced chip supply chains and used EUV access as a strategic advantage. That control may now be weakening. Huawei's LDP-based EUV system is already being tested in Dongguan, and a major Chinese company believed to be leading in lithography filed a patent for this technology in 2023. What once seemed impossible is now quickly becoming real. China may soon have its own EUV technology capable of producing chips that compete with the most advanced ones in the world. If Huawei succeeds, the balance of power in the semiconductor industry could change dramatically. Western dominance, long seen as untouchable, would face a serious challenge. Companies and governments everywhere would need to rethink supply chains, strategies, and the future structure of the tech industry. This is not something far away. It is happening right now. The global technology race is moving faster than ever. And what happens next could shape who holds power for many years ahead. Today, technology decides influence, strength, and control. And China's progress in advanced chip making is becoming impossible to ignore. This is not just about new machines or faster chips. It is about long-term vision, national ambition, and changing the balance of power that has existed for decades. Each successful experiment and every improved system sends a clear signal that the world may soon enter a very different technological era. Huawei is taking a bold risk that could open the door to a new phase of global semiconductor leadership. If their plans succeed, China could begin producing 3 nanometer chips inside the country by 2026, reducing the impact of foreign restrictions. 
This effort is not happening in isolation. SMIC, China's top chip manufacturer, is deeply involved, and together they are aiming higher than simple competition. Their goal is not to follow the West, but to move ahead of it. Recent reports from Chinese media reveal that a research team in Harbin has reached a key breakthrough in EUV light technology by achieving the crucial 13.5 nanometer wavelength. At the same time, other teams across China are making progress in optics, lithography systems, and chip-making equipment. These developments are happening in parallel, showing that this is a carefully coordinated national effort rather than scattered experiments. The push toward 3 nanometer chips is important because smaller chips deliver much more power while using less energy. Phones could handle advanced AI tasks on their own, vehicles could drive themselves with greater accuracy, and future computing systems could grow far more capable. Moving from 7 nanometers to 3 nanometers is not a small improvement. It represents a major leap. Chips at this level can fit nearly double the number of transistors into the same space and cut power usage by roughly 30%. Until now, Western companies have dominated this field. Their leadership has helped companies like NVIDIA control the AI chip market, and Apple maintain its edge in consumer devices. If China succeeds at the 3 nanometer level, it will not just join the race, it could change how the race is run. ASML's control over EUV machines could be challenged if China produces its own systems at lower cost. Chinese-made equipment could enter the market at prices far below ASML's machines, which cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Ironically, the pressure created by U.S. sanctions appears to have pushed China to move faster. In early 2025, Huawei's founder told President Xi Jinping that chip supply problems were improving, showing confidence in domestic production. Even NVIDIA has warned investors about Huawei's growing strength in AI chips. When the world's leading AI chip company publicly recognizes a competitor, it signals a serious shift. ASML previously stated that without EUV technology, China was a decade or more behind. However, recent progress suggests that gap is shrinking quickly. SMIC already surprised the industry by producing 7 nanometer chips for Huawei's AI processors. In 2023, Huawei released smartphones using 7 nanometer chips despite heavy restrictions, shocking analysts around the world. By creatively using advanced DUV methods, China proved it could work around some of the toughest technical limits. If 3 nanometer chips appear by 2026, previous assumptions about China's timeline will be proven wrong. Still, major obstacles remain. Building chips at scale is far more difficult than demonstrating success in a lab. ASML spent decades refining its machines and supply network. Huawei's lithography systems show promise, but they are still new. Early production may face delays, and manufacturing yields may not match the efficiency of companies like TSMC right away. High-end chip making requires extreme precision, and even small flaws can lead to major losses. To compete globally, Huawei must reach production yields close to industry standards, where most chips meet strict quality requirements. Western nations are watching closely, but have not reacted with panic yet. This battle is about more than profit. It is about independence. China wants full control over its technology supply chain. Huawei's research centers in Shanghai are hiring experienced engineers to design chip-making machines from the ground up. President Xi has made self-reliance in technology a national mission, and these EUV trials show that China is serious. Semiconductor capability is now viewed as a core national security issue, alongside food and energy security. Creating a complete EUV ecosystem from mirrors and lenses to software and control systems, is one of the hardest challenges in modern engineering. China is investing heavily, but success is not guaranteed. What is certain is that the experiments are real, the goal of 3 nanometer chips is active, and the pace is accelerating. Whether China ultimately overtakes the West remains unknown, but the competitive landscape is already changing. This is no longer a simple story of a smaller player chasing established leaders. It is the story of a major power building its own tools to reshape the future. By late 2025, the world will see whether these machines can perform as promised. The coming months will be critical in deciding whether China achieves true technological independence or faces new challenges. Either way, the global semiconductor industry is entering a new chapter, and it will not return to the way it once was.